Liquid sand, robotic cars, and shrinking cans. Just a few of the science projects these students have been working on for the past few months. We have some that have created engineering projects, and we have others who are portraying a scientist of some sort, and they are giving us all the important information about why science is important to life. In this project, students heat up a can and drop it in ice water to show how the difference in air temperature can create a vacuum. Very creative students, and our hope is that we instill a love of science and that they have fun while they're creating something that they get to be proud of. And then there's the shrinking of the balloon. Doesn't look like it'll fit in the jar, but watch what happens when you heat the air in the jar. Ours, we have a balloon that's too big to fit in the jar, and so we put fire in the jar and we light some paper on fire. And since the fire uses the oxygen, it pulls the balloon into the jar, even though the balloon seems too big to fit. And these older kids are showing off their experiments to the younger ones in school. When you do the experiments, the younger kids, they're always so excited to look at you because they're like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. It's like magic. So I'm on the team with the balloon getting sucked into a jar, as Porta described, and they were like mystified by how the balloon got sucked into the jar. They call this Mad Scientist Day, where everyone becomes a scientist and teachers hope this inspires them to want to know more about science as they move through school. Well, our hope for them is that they continue to love science and grow that love of science so by the time they get to middle school, high school, college, maybe they're the ones to take on the next new big creation for the world. Kyle Granger, WVLT News.